What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Winter 17 View. Today we'll be doing some winter towing and rebuilding here on the mowing map. We'll be hopping in our Toyota Tacoma and we'll be making our way over to the shop. Today we'll be rebuilding a few pickup trucks, we'll be towing a few vehicles, and we'll be using a variety of tow trucks from a flatbed to a compact wrecker and then a giant heavy wrecker because we will be rebuilding a semi truck. And I did get quite a bit of requests to do a towing and rebuilding video. That's why we are back here doing it today. Now this Toyota Tacoma is a great daily driver, especially since it does get good gas mileage, pretty good size, and overall I really do like the looks of it since it is a 2016-2017 model year. And as you guys can see, we have already arrived here at our shop, which is pretty cool. And up first, we will be doing a few tow jobs. And the first one is, we gotta bring a broken down cart from a customer's house over to the repair shop. And then after that, we gotta go pick up a vehicle that's blocking it a store so we'll kind of come over here and we'll be opening up the door we are on an older version of the map and I will have to update it and we'll be hopping in the Ford F350 power stroke rollback we'll be kind of pulling out here and I'm very excited to be back here we haven't done one of these in quite some time here on the mowing map the last one that we did was on the platinum DLC map which was a pretty cool map that South American style and I think we'll be featuring quite a bit more of those but as you guys can see we are here in the power stroke record I really do like this rollback a lot. I mean, this thing looks awesome. Great cab model. And then I did kind of attach it to the rollback body. The house should be up over here to our right, then just down just a little bit. But like we're saying, guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you supporting these refilling videos with all of your positive feedback and ideas for what we should repo next. And I could actually see the cart over there, and it looks like it does not have the best engine, so we do have to be pretty careful not really uh, to have it turned on for too long. We'll be kind of turning our LED lights on. You guys can see giant light bar up top and lights over here. Wow, this thing looks awesome. We'll be kind of in the road just a little bit, but it shouldn't be too, too long, and I do not want to drive it much and I think that we should really use our winch but we do not really have one so I think that that's probably good right about there we'll hop out and this is the correct one because the house address matches everything like that once we do do that we'll be going we will be taking a Jaguar it's black in color and I believe it's a coupe Jaguar they are blocking the entrance to a uh, business that we do towing for and as you guys can see when you do use the rollback some of them do kind of want you to go flying which is not the best you do have to overcome it by just putting the truck in the opposite direction like reverse if it does want to go forward so we'll bring this over to a local repair shop and we haven't done anything quite like this before where we kind of bring something that's broken down over to get repairs we usually just bring it back to our lot but sometimes tow truck companies do kind of tow it to different shops We are just about to arrive here at the shop. I think we'll kind of park around back since we should be able to kind of fit the entire roll back without kind of blocking up the road. And for now, we'll just leave it on the outside and we'll let the customer know that we do deliver it. If you do have any cool ideas for this repoing and towing series, let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy kind of combining the two. And it looks like we still do have the load lock. And it looks like we don't have that any longer, and uh, sometimes there's a few collision problems trying to get that. We'll pull forward just a little bit, that looks to be good. We'll hop back in this, and I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going awesome, I hope yours is too. I do strive to do some epic quality content each and every single day. We'll kind of roll this back, and... Uh, We'll kind of turn off the lights. Next up, we'll be going after the tow. But I mean, this rollback, I really do like this one a lot. And uh, next up, it is at a very busy shopping center. So we should be going over there first. Once we do our final tow of the day, we'll be switching over to repo mode. Where we'll be going and taking vehicles that the owners have not paid for and the bank does want them back. And as you guys can see, take a look at that. Looks like the Jaguar really likes to park in front of the doors. And many people do park there, but sometimes the owners of the companies are not happy. And they just kind of call up the tow companies just like us to kind of take them. Especially since, I mean, you're blocking the main entrance to the building. And wow, not much people can kind of walk straight in. 
and everybody has to walk around you. So that's probably why they call it up because it's not probably good for their business to have vehicles parked outside. And this is a fire zone, so the fire department is not going to be happy. We'll be loading this Jaguar on. As you guys can see, I mean, we shouldn't really be driving it, but we do not have a working winch. And once we do get a working winch, I mean, that will bring this series to next level realism because that's going to be so cool. As you guys can see, the truck does roll forward. Not too bad, though, today, which is nice. The earlier today really did want to roll back a lot on us, move around it, and that's because of load lock. But now we'll be kind of making our way back over to our shop, and we'll kind of just keep this loaded up for now since, I mean, we have no need for this rollback for later on today. So I think we'll keep it, and I will unload it off camera. I hope you guys are excited for all of the very cool videos to come here on the channel. I'm excited for all, all of them, and I do have many different things planned along with the release of my brand new map, the first day of spring. That's going to be one epic day since that map will farm fields. We have a lot of cool different things that this map currently does not offer, and I am trying to keep all of those a surprise. As you guys can see, we made it back here. I think we'll kind of park up just like that, and we should be able to kind of walk through the store. Next up, we'll be hopping in our uh large heavy wrecker and we'll be kind of making our way over to go repo a semi truck and uh, it should be quite an interesting one we'll be kind of coming over here you guys can see I mean this is one epic truck I really do like it a lot you guys can see I mean this thing looks awesome I really do like it a lot and it is an international which is pretty cool come open up the door and there's a few collision problems with a few of the mods but I mean take a look at this international day cab wrecker awesome and it's perfect size for all right i just closed the door there we'll be kind of taking this turn a little too large not the best but next up you guys can see we're going to be repoing a day cab semi truck brand new semi the owners have failed to pay the last three months and we do have to go get it and i've been getting a few requests to do some multiplayer repoing so i do have that in mind and we will be doing one so stay tuned for it it's gonna be quite a bit of fun and it should be very interesting having somebody else kind of come in showing their perspective on the top right corner of my screen and a few other things so stay tuned for that that's going to be quite a bit of fun and i'm very very excited for it but wow this international record really looks pretty cool i did put this together and i actually think we should kind of look into using this for the heavy rescue but as you guys can see i could actually see the uh semi truck here at the shop we'll turn on our lights and i first kind of want to block it in just to make sure it's the correct bin i mean take a look at that it is a day cab pretty new semi truck i did do a review on it and we'll kind of come over here let's take a look the logo does match up and it is a correct bin take a look at that guys i mean this phrase liner day cab looks very nice and it actually looks like we can attach from the front I think we might give that a try but for now we'll just kind of have to turn around here and I do actually have to fix those stabilizers add in a few more parts to make it a little bit more realistic than what it is but next up we'll kind of come over here we'll kind of lower this down and we'll be attaching and sometimes I mean we just have to hook and book it because we have to kind of leave the area as soon as possible but it looks like nobody is coming out and this wrecker is working right away which is is nice and we just want to get out kind of do the safety chains to make sure it's safe and you just want to do the safety chain from here to here and I'm actually thinking that we should probably really tow from the front but usually here in farm sim we can only tow from the back that was uh, quite an easy repo for us, which is pretty nice. A lot of our repos are easy, but once we do multiplayer, it's going to be quite interesting having people kind of on the properties, and we do have to work around them, so stay tuned for all of those very cool ones, and I do have a lot of very cool videos planned. As you guys can see, it looks like it is a little slippery out since it is winter, and since, I mean, we do not really need to snow plow, I thought that I would just kind of change the textures to winter mode instead of having uh, the seasons mod and have to clear all that snow or even drive through the snow. It's not safe to drive when the roads aren't cleared, especially with a few feet on the ground. We are now arriving back here at the shop. Looks like there's a collision problem on the front of this truck, which is something I will have to look into fixing. And we'll kind of just pull in here, and I think we'll park up just just like this I will unload it off camera and next up we'll be going after a Ford Raptor which is a first gen very expensive even though it is still pretty old and I think we'll try to go through the store very realistic if we can take 
Next up, we'll be putting this RAM to work, which is pretty cool. I really do like this RAM a lot. We do have a custom front bumper on it, and I really do like the body uh, style of it. We'll be kind of pulling out here from our shop, and it looks like we actually left the door open of the other one, which is not good. And the Raptors should be just around the corner. They do work at the John Deere dealership, and take a look at that. We'll kind of drive by. It looks like nobody is in the front, and we should kind of check around back. So I think we'll check around back, and if it is there, uh, actually, we need to get our boom ready to go so i think we'll just kind of pull off to the side get this ready and uh, we do want to get it as fast as possible it is an expensive vehicle and it, it is great for off-roading so we might have to kind of chase it down and that's something we could probably do in multiplayer i can already see it guys so i mean that means that this should be the correct one it is the matching blue i do not want to kind of come down the driveway unless it is but we do have to kind of work pretty fast take a look this guy 6.2 meter v8 and that is the correct one we're we'll kind of hopping back here in the ram and i really do like this uh ram a lot body style everything about it and i did kind of put the cab on top of this rocker body we'll kind of come back over here and we'll be doing it take a look that guys we've got the raptor attached we're gonna go in and it looks like nobody is coming out which is awesome i'm very excited to be here on mowing map version 2 and version 3 is public so i do recommend you go check that map out it's a great map I did put it together, but I'm very excited for the brand new one. It's going to offer so much more than this map, and there are so many new buildings, and it also has a different road layout, different textures, and overall, I think it's a better map so far, even though it's not complete. We'll be backing this in since we'll be using this RAM once again to do one more repo, which is another Ford. So it looks like these Ford owners are not paying because the trucks are so expensive lately. So we'll kind of back this up, and we actually did a pretty good job. We'll drop that right about there. We'll be kind of raising this, and we'll be heading back out. We have one more, and then we'll call it a day, and I want that tow bar to come all the way back. Take a look at that. We got that back, and I really do like these types of records. They're very compact, small, they aren't even that wide, and they do have the power to lift up some pretty heavy trucks, which is nice. Like I was saying earlier, if you do have any cool ideas for this series, let me know down below in the comments. I do read all of your feedback each and every single day, and I do strive to respond to almost every single comment that is put here on my channel. And I do spend a lot of work maintaining the comments, making sure that everything is good. And the uh, truck should be coming up over here to our right. And take a look at that, guys. It's at this red house. I believe that we did see it earlier today. Might have. Not exactly sure, but we'll kind of pull in here, block it, and if this is, we do have to kind of just hook it and book it. We'll kind of come over here, as guys can see, it's F450 King Ranch, and it is a correct one. I mean, take a look at this. We do want to walk around, make sure there's no damage, because we do not want to be uh, responsible for that. But we'll kind of come back here, we'll turn around, and I think we'll probably just tilt this back, but wow, this rocker is awesome. I will be looking into getting the uh, first arm on this to kind of work also, which would even be more... More realistic to kind of lower this down. We're going to back up here and we do actually have to lift this up quite a bit. As you guys can see, it's lifted up. The truck is squatting quite a bit. As you guys can see, we'll now be heading back over to the shop, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed today's towing and refilling video here on Mowing Map version 3. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.